hello guys welcome back to another video in this particular video we are going to be discussing Adnicto Adnicto is simply a web application vulnerability scanner that help in telling us the vulnerability that is found in a particular host or target we provide to it okay so without wasting much time let's get started um if you open your terminal i'm going to be opening new window because i have some current work i was doing i will blow this up for you guys so you guys will see um what is going on in the screen so um, I actually have some host I'm scanning on and it's a live government host. Please and please, I have permission to do this because they are on a bug button program. Like I used to say, I want to, one of my tutorials to be a live website, okay? So whatever we see, we are going to enumerate and I will explain how or uh, what it's actually saying, okay? So before I will start scanning, I have... Um, the website i want to scan here so we'll be scanning this particular spot singapore.gov.sg and also this other volunteer.gov.sg okay so um i will start scanning before i explain the options okay guys so before you start you have to start typing in nikto if you hit the tab button to auto complete because it's a pre-built tool in Kali Linux, and you type the dash host okay or dash h whatever one if you could you type in and i'll copy this um, particular url here and paste because this is my target and i want nikto to tell me whatever vulnerability it find on this particular target okay so i'll hit enter i'll look at magic happening right now in the screen okay um i'm going to open another tab for, for my second scan let me blow this up and because I want us to see the both um, detailed information we get, so we be explaining to see the differences that Nikto is going to give to us. Okay, so me typing in Nikto, like I said, dash host, sorry, dash host, sorry, um, dash h, okay, and I'll paste in the IP address, all right. So let me hit enter. Uh, as this scanning will be going on, right, you see, this one is already giving me nice results i will go and explain the flags you can use with nikto okay so let me type in nikto dash dash help all right so let me enter so these are the common flag we can pick file as you can see here you can also display output to turn it on or turn it off okay and you can see the format here save you can save this particular format to a file all right and also you if you um, see you can choose the port which is very very important to default is port 80 but if you specify um the url with http or https it will automatically tell you that okay https is as you can see it's https is 443 but if i specify also http is going to tell me that it's port 80 okay so let's go back to my the explanation and another good important information i will show you guys is this dash host you see like it said, you provide it the flag dash host and the host you are really want to scan. I think that's it for Nipto. So let's analyze the results we have gotten from Nipto. Okay. Okay. And the first one we actually did was this. Uh, this volunteer or this one. Okay. Um, so you see, Nipto actually give us the IP address you are scanning, the URL, the DNS um, name, and also the port it's scanning on. So it's telling us some SSL information here. Which we can see and it's telling us the cipher and the issue and so on. So coming down to the main um, report is giving that it's telling us no server banner is found. That means this particular website is doing well by not exposing their banner because most times those banners um, attackers use it for further exploitation, like more um, idea about the target they are hacking on and giving other exploitation okay so you can see it's telling us access protection header has not been has been disabled so if you are performing penetration testing for um for a target you can this is some things you have to screenshot and which i tell them that some headers you are missing in your website okay so this is um, also some common headers that are not found okay and you see the site uses and expect this is particular stuff is not present it's something you are supposed to do oh my god what am i seeing so you see we actually find a vulnerability here that nick is actually present and i'm doing this live right now um before i report uh, before i post this video i'll make sure i report this particular vulnerability that i found so because 
I don't want to be, I don't want to be thrown in jail. I'm not supposed to be doing the, um, this on the live stream. I'm just trying to make example and you need to actually give us a vulnerability right now. So let me open this to see what it actually means. It's giving me um, a re um, reference link that we can use to check what vulnerability is that, okay? And this is it. Microsoft Security Bulletin MS10070, okay? And this is a Windows machine. This is a Windows, you see, I'm, like I said, ASP.NET. So vulnerability in ASP.NET Cloud allow information disclosure. Wow. So general information disclosure and so on. So um, I will go through this later and see how I will be able to exploit this particular vulnerability. So I will report it before I post this video. I didn't expect this to come out. But we see it to actually did a great job by giving me a vulnerability that I can report to this particular company right now maybe i might get paid or if the vulnerability is actually there okay so the vulnerability must manually be validated i want that's what i'm going to do if i post this video and i'll make sure it is resolved so you guys should <laughs> so bad guys will not watch this video and start attacking the government okay and you see um this is another reference link that i'm going to look into to see how i'll be able to exploit that particular vulnerability so it's still giving us i'm going to stop this video because what i'm seeing right now is man it's something else i'm not expecting it to, to uh the government should be having some vulnerability found that by nikto so i'm going to pause this stop this video for now and i hope you guys understand how to actually use nikto